Uh, as you were heading into these G7 talks, there was a sense that uh, the America's closest allies were frustrated with you and angry with you, and that you were angry with them, and that you were leaving here early to go meet for more friendlier talks with Kim Jong Un in Singapore. And I'm wondering if you, well, but, if, you uh, if you view it the same way, and do you view the U.S. alliance system shifting under your presidency yeah. away? Who are you with? I'm curious. CNN. I figured fake news, CNN, the worst. Uh, but, you know, I could tell by the question. I have no idea you were CNN after the question. I was just curious as to who you were with you with CNN. Uh, I would say that the level of relationship is a 10. We have a great relationship. Angela and uh, Emmanuel and Justin. I would say the relationship is a 10. And I don't blame them. I blame, as I said, I blame our past leaders for allowing this to happen. There was no reason this should happen. There's no reason that we should have big trade deficits with virtually every country in the world. I'm going long beyond the G7. There's no reason for this. It's the fault of the people that preceded me. And I'm not just saying President Obama. I'm going back a long way. You can go back 50 years, frankly. It just got worse and worse and worse. You know, we used to be a nation that was unbelievably cash flow oriented, had no debt of any consequence, and they build the highway system. We built the intern, you know, the interstate system out of, virtually out of cash flow. And it was, it was a lot different. No, we have a very good relationship, and I don't blame these people, but I will blame them if they don't act smart and do what they have to do, because they have no choice. I'll be honest with you, they have no choice. They're either gonna make the trades fair, because our farmers have been hurt, you look at our farmers. For 15 years, it, the, the graph is going just like this, down. Our farmers have been hurt. Our workers have been hurt. Our companies have moved out and moved to Mexico and other countries, including Canada. Now, we are going to fix that situation. And if it's not fixed, we're not going to deal with these countries. But the relationship that I've had is great. So you can tell that to your fake friends at CNN. The relationship that I've had with uh, the people, the leaders of these countries has been, I would really rate it on a scale of zero to 10, I would rate it a 10. That doesn't mean I agree with what they're doing, and they know very well that I don't. So we're negotiating very hard tariffs and barriers. As an example, the European Union is brutal to the United States. They don't take, and they understand that, they know it. They, when I'm telling them they're smiling at me you know it's like the the gig is up it's like the gig is up they're not trying to there's nothing they can say they can't believe they got away with it canada can't believe it got away with it mexico we have a hundred billion dollar trade deficit with mexico and that doesn't include all the drugs that are pouring in because we have no wall but we are we started building the wall as you know 1.6 billion dollars and we're going to keep that going but a lot of these countries actually smile at me when i'm talking and the smile is, we couldn't believe we got away with it. That's the smile. So it's going to change. It's going to change. They have no choice. If it's not going to change, we're not going to trade with them.